This is Lindsay from Metal Planet Music and I'm talking to Ronnie from Those Damn Crows. Wow, just come off the main stage, how was that? The adrenaline is still, honestly, it's still there. Um, I went straight back to the changing room and the boys, everybody's up in cloud nine. Um, yeah, it's just been a long time waiting, do you know what I mean? Kids looking at bands on that stage and then walking out today. You can still, you know what I mean? It's still there, yeah. Yeah. Powerful. Yeah, because you've played the Dogtooth stage before. Yeah, Dogtooth. Uh, in 2019, we did yeah. the RIP. Then we did the Dogtooth right. on the Friday. Um, then we did an acoustic with Shane and uh, Shine and Dave ended up doing on Barrels, which was fun. Um, and then I just remember having a beer watching Def Leppard with Shane and going, that's the next go, we got to play that. And he said, it won't be long. And about, I genuinely, six months later, we had a phone call saying, do you want to play main stage? 2020 and here we are 2022 oh, so. <laughs> I say uh, you must be uh, I, I can't even I mean I said you know it's quite funny I feel like a proud parent because oh, I've been watching you all these so years you have you've been and, there from the start yeah and yeah. just seeing you know your reactions uh, and that on the stage and I don't think Shane stopped for a minute he just no. did some miles on that stage today but I, how did it feel looking out and seeing your pro family your own families how did it feel it still hasn't sunk in but there was just a million things going through your head, um, trying to control the adrenaline, don't play that too fast. Um, just everything, it was just, yeah, it was unreal. And then I'd look out and I could see people that you recognize and you're like, oh my God, man, they've been there from 50 people to 200 to thousands to download. Um, it's just insane. Um, Cause you've had a, a pretty full on, since, since everything sort of like got more normal again okay you got the podcast going and everything during the pandemic which yeah. was great you know good to see you know you guys chatting to other people and just keeping that profile going as well yeah. which must have been really difficult for those couple of years but then seeing how I mean the shows you've had you know Hunter Cardiff Castle unbelievable I mean um, I just talked about Cardiff Castle because we did Steel House we came down from a buzz there, and then the management, I, I remember coming down from the mountain with a hangover, obviously, and um, the manager said, do you fancy doing Cardiff Castle? I was like, yeah, when are you thinking? Obviously thinking two years, whatever, three weeks. And we were like, oh, and I was the first one to go, oh, I don't know, I don't know if, um, are we, and he said, look, it's for a great thing, it's for Phil, and, and then the tickets went on sale and sold out, and then they, they extended the capacity, and that happened loads. So from there to playing with Thunder a couple of weeks ago and walking out in the Motor Point, yet again another venue in Cardiff, which we've grown up, watched so many bands, and seeing that many people at that time, because the doors opened at 6.30, we were on Bang On at 7, and I just remember looking up from the drums and I was like, oh my God, it's nearly full. And it was like, wow. Um, so yeah, it's a real magic, but I think the Crow family make that happen. People are jumping on board. You're never gonna get everybody on board, but I think the ones who have really, they, they're there for, for yeah. good, like, you know? I, I was walking back through the crowd, um, so I had to come back a little bit early while you were still on stage, and the amount of people that were singing as we walked, as I walked all the way back, almost here, in, back into the guest area, it was Ooh. just unreal. We've got in years in, and I remember we got to Rock and Rolling Dead, and I just popped them out, and I was just like, we're doing all right. <laughs> We're doing all right. Because when you've got in years in, you can obviously hear a nice mix of the band and stuff because um, it gets a bit lost and washy, especially without outdoor festivals. But um, yeah, that was the one I kind of popped them out and I was like, we're doing great, like super proud of the boys. It was, like yeah. I said, a real special moment. We've all seen bands grace our stage, grace all the stages. So like you said, to kind of work, work our way to there um, and the amount of people who just said like we slayed it. Um, you did. It's incredible. It's yeah. incredible. But it felt so what's comfortable. Next? What's next? Um, Chep store in August, and then we're doing we're doing like a run of three headlines. So Chep store, um, Tembi, and then Firestorm Festival, which is a new festival happening in Manchester. Then Stone Dead was announced yesterday. Um, so we were chef for Chris and all the all the guys there. Um, something that we haven't done. It's just never never been able to to marry it up and i think it's the right time now so we can come from there go and see those guys and then monster truck in september october yeah. uh, which has just been announced as well so new music we're buzzing to get that out we were wanting to do it today but camera phones blame camera phones because we were like do we drop a new one in 
But the problem is, it's so throwaway at the moment that if someone uses it, you almost you kill that buzz. We want it to be special. It has to be right. Um, so just stay tuned. It won't be long. Brilliant. Thank you, Ronnie. Thank you. And uh, we'll say we'll see you at some of the other festivals.